Hi, today we're sitting with Dr. Takimoto Gentile and Dr. Stephen Wilson. Uh, Dr. Takimoto Gentile has a practice here in Hawaii on uh, 2658 South King Street, and he recently wrote a book. And the book title is called Optimal Health Naturally, What Your Doctor Didn't Tell You and Your Mother Didn't Know. So he has a very unique practice as an MD. He does a lot of naturopathic work, a lot of environmental medicine, homeopathic medicine, and uh, that's what he put into his new book. And well, I can let Doc expand a little bit more about his journey to writing the book and uh, I guess his earlier years as a doctor, which kind of led up to the current situation. Thank you, Chris. Uh, I'm from Hawaii originally, grew up here in the islands, and um, my grandmother's pure Hawaiian. So I was exposed to, as in many people in Hawaii, to all alternative healing. So my grandmother was would dabble in a little Hawaiian herbs at home and a lot of massage so when we were sick even with the flu she would just massage the illness right out of us so that was my introduction to healing per se um, and at some point down the line I went off to medical school um, to become a doctor which I did I'm a family physician by training I uh, went to the med school here in Hawaii and Buffalo New York for my residency training and I came home in 1988 to do some more training in geriatric medicine. And for me, my dream at that time was to be on faculty with the med school, which I did. And I was teaching there for nearly 10 years. And it was interesting that all the patients that I was seeing, the question that I heard most common, commonly asked of me was, why am I sick? And I was equipped to do the what you're sick with. And so I would make the diagnosis until, you know, it was like, you know, you hear things over and over and it was like, it starts to, for me, it was like, well, that's a really good question. And I didn't have the answer for that. When I left the medical school, I went into private practice, and uh, it was in search of that answer, why are people sick? And it led me to doing research that I was not um, trained to do, going to different seminars in the mainland. And it was a remarkable journey because what I've learned is that this body is really a remarkable machine. And when it doesn't have the right nutrients, doesn't have the right vitamins and it has too many toxins, it really disturbs the body and will put it out of balance and you present with symptoms. So, you know, um, doing this for now 12 years, I was encouraged to, why don't you write down in a book the things that you're doing because you could share this with more people. And I thought, yeah, that's a good idea. So I kind of sat down and on vacation time, free time, started outlining each chapter and it was encouraged to write the book and so I did. So a lot of the books, um, what a lot of the topics in the book, there's 10 chapters, uh, it's the most common things that we do in our office and it's things that, food allergies that disturbs um, people's immune system, causes a lot of colitis, a lot of inflammation, uh, skin rashes, migraine headaches, uh, chronic fatigue, fibromyalgia, things that I was not equipped to treat. Usually when patients presented with those kinds of problems, it would be like, yes, you have those problems, but go see the specialist. And I was like, that was what I was trained to do. But now it's like patients come to me and it's really, I'm like what I think, I think I've heard the, the, the quote from Thomas, Thomas Edison, we had this talk. Yes. And it's like the future doctors will be treating patients with just nutrition and cure them. And uh, I've seen miracles after miracles after miracles doing what I'm doing. And um, I'm really excited about what I'm doing. And so from common things like osteoporosis to the very difficult thing like fibromyalgia. Um, and it's expanded to other areas like Dr. Wilson has a great uh, story. Oh yeah, Dr. Wilson is was started uh, as a patient of yours. Right, well Dr. Wilson, I knew Dr. Wilson when I was a medical student. He was a resident. And <laughs> Dr. Wilson is an OBGYN, and, uh, and that was our first crossing, really. And then I went off to residency, he stayed in Hawaii, and I came back, and it was just through some fortuitous meeting through a common friend that we had dinner together, and he was actually, at that time, uh, comfortably living in Thailand, working for the government <laughs> there in forensic medicine, of all things. And uh, he was uh, attending UH, learning how to speak Thai, right? That's right. And uh, it was like I was in the middle of editing the book and I was like, you're a doctor, why don't you read my book so you can do some editing and you can look at it from a medical standpoint. <laughs> and I gave you the book. He calls me the next morning and, and he said, 
I'm done with the book. I said, what do you mean you're done with the book? <laughs> I stayed up all night, I read your book, and I need to come in as a patient. Yeah. And that's your story now. Hey, can you uh, share a little about that experience that you had, and maybe a little bit about your past as well, coming to the point with working with uh, Dr. Takamoto Gentile? Yes, Chris, I think I'm one of those medical miracles Dr. Takamoto Gentile was mentioning. I had been totally dead sick, tired all the time for almost nine years. And all my Western doctors here in Honolulu had given up on me. And I had given up my own private practice just because it was, I didn't, I barely had enough energy to maintain a normal life. Um, Semi-retired, living in Thailand, I was working for the Ministry of Justice there. And on vacation here, a friend of ours called Mai brought me in and she said, you have to see Dr. Takimoto, Gentile, to get get fixed up and I was really skeptical because I'd gone to the world experts all the way up to Washington DC I'd been referred by my insurance all over the place and then um, Dr. Takimoto said well what are you eating what are your hormones I and mean, he made all the things that are in the book and I had no idea what language he was speaking because I'm a completely Western trained doctor I'd gone to Yale Medical School and did uh, traditional residency and um, you know never been exposed to this aspect of medicine that he had been exploring on his own so well after he started to describe to me you know it's in the medical literature he just been the one brave enough to continue to do the research and talk with his patients and what I found as a patient is that he listened to me and that led him to ordering the right tests well, you know what, Chris, within a few months, I had gone from living at home in a wheelchair or walking outdoors with a cane, falling down frequently, to unassisted living, all within a few months. And of course, um, over the next few months, he continued to fine tune me and um, give me nutritional and uh, hormonal and supplement, nutrient supplement advice. And I've just been getting stronger and stronger. Right now, I feel like I'm in the best health I've ever been in, including all the way back to my 20s when I used to compete internationally in kendo. Mm -hmm. I mean, I feel stronger now and more awake and more alive, thanks to Dr. Takamoto Gentili. And, you know, I swear, I, once I read that book, I said, I have to learn more about this. So I started hanging out, following him, uh, watching him interact so skillfully and um, nicely with his patients and I just had the feeling inside that oh I have to learn this hmm. I have to know more of this almost like a calling yes because not only did I see such dramatic effects in me but in every patient and you know almost to a person they all loved him and we all respect him and um, owe so much to him uh, I don't know what else to say except that I've given up my position in Thailand and I live here and I follow him and, um, and you work couldn't with, be more grateful. You, you work together. Yes. Now I... Now, now he's working here. <laughs> <laughs> first being the patient and first hand experience what it's like to be at that end of the spectrum. You couldn't keep me away. Yeah. I mean, it's kind of like you went through the natural progression. It's like you read, read the book, you, you learn more, you want to become a patient, you became a patient, and obviously not everybody has an MD, but you know you took it to that next level and use your, able to use your MD again to start uh, you know, proliferating what he... Absolutely, Chris. I read the book as an MD. I was very skeptical at first, and um, I, I read all the references that he had cited, <laughs> <laughs> and I couldn't sleep that night. I actually literally spent all night reading it. I haven't done that since uh, residency or training. I was so excited. Wow. That's uh, great, great to hear, and thank you for sharing. Um, well, I know that Dr. Takimoto Gentile is actually having an event coming up on, I believe, Saturday, November 16th. And that's kind of, it's your first uh, lecture on the book. And it seems like you're moving towards education or in that direction. Like, what, what's your, I guess, um, vision for this book and with what you're doing? Well, this is like the official book launch here in Hawaii. I mean, people have been getting the books here in my office, primarily my patients. Um, but it's an opportunity where I get really to go out in public and share what it is that I've been experiencing with patient care from a very different aspect. Uh, 
being an allopathic doctor and looking at the body, the health, from a very spiritual aspect or emotional aspect and looking at the body differently. And um, it's like my mission now is to get that information out to as many people as possible because uh, to be honest, and I think Dr. Wilson be, uh, will, will probably agree with me, medicine doesn't have all the answers. You know, I mean, well, there's a certain point where in medicine we're limited. We don't know everything and we can't do everything. But this whole approach has really expanded how to view patients, how to listen to them, and what it is in medicine that we probably shouldn't be doing. So I see a lot of patients that are multiple medications medication that actually causes cancer, and it's like, is it really necessary? And so this information really needs to be shared, and I, I really want to get out to the people in Hawaii first, and you know, if it means spreading it out to the mainland and the globe, I mean, I'd be thrilled that people can do this uh, comfortably, uh, to help educate other physicians to do this comfortably, and using the reference, the literature. I mean, when Dr. Wilson, one of the chapters had to do with fibrocystic breast disease. And I said, that's reversible. It's a de nutritional deficiency. And I said, look at the research. And he went out and from Yale, you know, well-trained surgeon, he actually looked up the journal and said, you're right, it's in the medical journals. And so there are cures that we've actually overlooked and we've um, really, really overlooked them. And if we just go back to the basics, let the body heal itself. I mean, even, even autistic children, I mean, when I see these children come into my office um, with their autistic symptoms, and to detox them, to refill, put back the nutrients, and to watch the reversal of the condition, such that they're back in school, the teachers don't even know that they have autism. You can mainstream them back into a normal life if you know what to do and what to look for. It is most gratifying for me now as a physician. I get excited every day coming to work. I don't know about you, but I look forward to coming to work. I mean, I think most doctors at my age have started planning when to retire, when to retire. And I'm just like, I'm not ready to retire. This is so <laughs> exciting. And I don't know about, you, oh, you're a surgeon, which is really different for you to be doing what I'm doing. So it'd be interesting to see how you feel when you wake up in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> Every day, an opportunity to learn something more, absolutely. And you're very generous with your teaching and your time to your patients and to, to all of us in the office. Thank you. Thank you. Absolutely. So yeah, we want to spread the word and get it out there. Well, excellent. I mean, uh, I guess I should tell you out there that his book is available for purchase. If you want to uh, get it right now, you just have to visit uh, doctor's website, which is drctg.com, and that's doctor spelled out, so it's D O C T O R, and his initials CTG, Curtis Takemoto Gentile.com. So it's drctg.com, and uh, again, his book title is Optimal Health Naturally What Your Doctor Didn't Tell You and Your Mother Didn't Know. Uh, is there any final uh, comments that any of you have? Any, anything to sum up or tell everybody out there? Well, Chris, what's the book launch? Ah, yeah, again, that's uh, November 16th at the Convention Center, the Hawaii Convention Center, from 1.30 to 3.30 p.m. in room 310. It's the theater room, so if you want to take notes, there's little tables, you can take notes. Uh, tickets are $25 in advance, which again, you can go to drctg.com to get those, uh, and $35, or excuse me, $30 at the door. So. Uh, either come down that day or, you know, come ahead of time to get the tickets at his office. Again, his uh, number, uh, address is 2658 South King Street, and the phone number there is 808-955-1544. So if you have any questions, visit the website, call us, stop in the office. Um, you know, we have a great staff to take care of you, and I uh, hope to have you at the lecture to hear all this amazing teachings he has. I would strongly uh, recommend that you bring paper and pencil, and if you're so inclined, you know, if your smartphone can record, you're gonna re want to record a lot of this. I mean, we will be recording the session, um, but there will be invaluable information that I'll be sharing that's in the book and probably things that aren't in the book that people will probably just will be working furiously writing all these notes down. So <laughs> it'll be fun. It's, it'll be like a teaching book lunch. Excellent. Well, thanks for uh, listening. And again, if you want more information, the website is www.drctg.com. 
And uh, you can also reach him at his phone number, 808-955-1544. Thank you.